Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Descent to Under Mountain. When we last left off, Drust the Fighter was about to fight some more kobolds. Carefully. Oh, oh, oh! There he goes, he's come around the corner. There we go. And this one has also come around the corner. And it is also dead. I don't think there are any more. There is a belt! So pretty much all those things I bought for one gold, I've already been handed back. I wonder if I can sell them for one gold. Well, that door is probably not going to open any time. There is a icon of the spider goddess, Loth, there. Hmm. Do I really... Do I really want to trust my ability to platform? I don't trust my ability to platform, that's for sure. And I don't know if that kobold is trying to get to me or not. It would seem probably. Let us proceed with great caution. I believe that's a platform I can actually walk on. It's a bit difficult to see with the graphics as they are. As you can see, this game... It doesn't use the engine that well. Are you aggressive? Yes. Yes! Yes you are. Yes you are. You're all aggressive. And you've all perished. I've captured a scroll, and there is another one. And in actual fact, there is the, uh, King of the Kobolds himself. Right there. We could try and jump for that potion. We could try and jump for that potion. Let's do it. Oh, look at that jumping. Look at that jumping that sustained... That, that sustained me no damage. Falling from there sustained zero points of damage. However, falling like half an inch off a ladder, three. Three points of damage. Let us see. No kobold guards? No nothing. You must be the king of the kobolds. Let us talk to you. The king ignores you. I welcome thee unto my lair. Will you not show mercy? Here, take my scroll! Anything else? If you look on the table in my office, you'll find a note about to me about the raids. That is everything. Will you not show compassion? Stop the raids now, or you will die. Okay, I'll give the order immediately. The raiding is over. You have my word. You have received 600 XP for finding a peaceful solution to the kobold problem. Do you really class this as a peaceful solution game? I just murdered my way through here, killing everything everywhere I went. You were worthy of my attention after all. What, by basically murdering my way towards you? You didn't have any guards left by the time I got to you. So we have indeed found a scroll. And a mage spell magic missile that we can't use. Where is this scroll? That's a scroll. That's a scroll. Is this a scroll that I want? No, that is not the scroll I want. I've picked up other scrolls. Okay, these scrolls. Here we go. You may fancy yourself a king, a lord of Waterdeep, or even a god, but to us you are a tool. The lords of Waterdeep have been complacent. You will begin to raid their storehouses. You will see anyone... If you see anyone enter Undermountain, send runners to report to us at once. If you find any wandering dwarfs, arrange for their capture. May the spider bite your enemies. Azerna. That seems like a notification from a drow who worships Loth. <laughs> Report. Raid misery fail. I all wet and fear. Many big guard with big kill steel. I get some supplies for Grey Orc. Find new place to raid tomorrow. Curse flood. Curse sneeze sick. Mate Nizella full of snot. A Zetlin the Smart. Hmm. Well, I think we are done here. 
I think we have, uh, solved the raids and also provided ourselves with some clues to progress further. Let us go and head down here, and we might as well head out. I think, uh, you're pretty peaceful now. Yes, you are. No clo- You know closer. This your last warning. Okay. Okay, I'm- I'm chaotic good, I'm- I'm not gonna go. I will not, uh, attack into places I'm not meant to be. I will, however, rest by pressing the R button here. You feel refreshed. There we go. Just laid down on some dirt and restored my health. There is no secret entrance here. There is a secret entrance somewhere, I just don't remember where it is. As you can see, we have already solved the first area of this game. This first mini-area of the game. The first mission has been completed, and uh, I have to say, it wasn't... Like, the game doesn't really convey to me the feeling of a D&D &D game in such a way as it's not really... Oh. Is there anything beyond the grate to the left? It appears to be more, one of the more recent constructions of the sewer system. No, I... I could have gone this way. Hmm, I could have gone that way, but I didn't. Fair enough. And I suppose I just need to head up. And out! Because we have in fact survived. We have in fact survived. If we had have actually uh, been a little more forceful with talking to the uh, peaceful kobolds, we could have got them to build a house here for us. Why you'd want a house in Undermount him is another question entirely. But we have, in fact, succeeded. So let us now leave and travel back to the Yawning Portal and back up to... Or the game will crash. Hmm. One moment. Let's see if we can actually get to the... Um, it wouldn't actually load the polygon models. Apparently not enough memory. Let's try again. Well, I'm back, and I was on my way back to, uh, walking to the entrance, and I realised that when you load the game, all of the kobold corpses start levitating. Yep, they all levitate. So, that's a thing. Yep, every single dead kobold that I've killed is now levitating. Let us slowly work our way back towards the- I didn't rest, did I? Let's go rest. Not that it's going to especially matter, but we might as well go rest. We might as well rest our weary bones. Drust has had a hard time. It's not easy being original as Drust is. Let's go, Drust. Up and onwards to the great outdoors of Waterdeep. And I think this time we'll actually save before we go into the great outdoors of Waterdeep, because I don't want to die horribly, and I don't want the game to crash again. Yeah, I don't think the Descent Engine was probably the best bet for, uh, making a, uh, role-playing game. Huh. Oh, wow! I did not know they were there. I did not know they were there at all. They are actually better than my chain mail. <laughs> Didn't know. All this time. Never found those. I suppose it's pretty obvious, actually, considering that the uh, wall is a different coloration. Let's head up to Waterdeep itself, shall we? And let's hope the game doesn't crash. It doesn't look like it's going to crash this time. No bit, in fact, did just crash. Oh, dear. Well, I have tried to improve the uh, size of the memory that DOSBox uses, but uh, unfortunately, the game still currently refuses to let me actually escape that area. So for now, Druzd is trapped in the sewers under Waterdeep, potentially forever. Unfortunately, this is the fate, potentially forever, of Druzd, the entirely original character. He was just too original for this campaign, and too original for Dungeons & Dragons in general. 
and so he is doomed to remain trapped forever. As for Descent to Undermountain, as you can see, it's it's a thing. I will potentially return to it, back to it, and um, a full playthrough of the game is not out of the realms of possibility. I would, of course, have to sort out the issue of the not having enough memory to actually leave and return to the Yawning Portal, and the main menu still doesn't actually record, but I'm not going to entirely rule out returning to Descent to Undermountain. I am, however, going to rule out returning to Descent to Undermountain as Druzd. I think I'd rather play it as a different character than Druzd. Druzd is... Well, he's trapped, isn't he? He's never getting out of here. He's stuck forever to see this ladder and demo how little um, control you have over how much damage is dealt by falling off it. See? No damage sustained there at all. No damage. However, if I were to fall off it again... Oh, that's not falling off it. That's running into a wall. Oh, also no damage. But we will sustain damage at some point. I'll just uh, fall off now. Nope, no damage. But you remember that we did fall off it for suffering absolutely, you know. No, for some reason, right now, we're not taking any damage at all from this. Despite the fact that we fell maybe half an inch before, and we actually suffered damage. Nope, no damage at all. Drozd at the moment seems immune to the fall damage of 13 feet that dealt three points of damage before. That's a fair amount of damage. Admittedly, you could suffer even more than that. I imagine you think you could suffer maybe five or six points of damage if you were very unlucky. But the fact that you can't see the ladder is just one of the many things in the game that, well, they probably shouldn't have used the descent engine, should they? So, for Drozd, it is the end of the road. And for now, when we come back... Well, we may never come back to Descent to Wonder Mountain, but if we do, we shall be getting the task from Kelvin Blackstaff from a different character. And not Drozd. Drozd will forever remain trapped here, in this silent prism. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. There's the damage! See? No damage before, now there's damage! No consistency.